Lee Kindell promises he's a purist when it comes to pizza. He uses a 120 year old sourdough starter with his pies. I hold on to a lot of very traditional things. But when it comes to the actual cooking, he's hands off. So it's going to go in here. He lets Otis, a pizza making robot, do the rest. Otis spreads cheese, slices pepperoni, and drops toppings as a conveyor belt bakes it. It all takes about six minutes. Boom. Oh, that's gorgeous. Some people might argue against that with me, but I really believe that's the future. Lee used to make his pizzas by hand, but an arm injury inspired him to automate. That turned into Moto Pizza, four locations, including T-Mobile Park, all opening over the last two years. Lee says robotics have allowed him to ramp up production exponentially. Otis can make 180 pizzas an hour. I want to kind of change the game by being able to say, hey, you can get uh, this really good quality product with a robot. Customized size, shape, and toppings. Uh, Robots are spreading in restaurants across the country. The pizza maker Lee uses featured at the Consumer Electronics Show two years ago. UW marketing professor Jeff Schulman says the unsavory side of automation is that it eliminates jobs and increases income inequality. This means uh, jobs lost in the area and jobs lost by people who are already struggling to make ends meet uh, as the prices rise and, and the cost of living here goes up. But Lee believes robotics help him maintain a consistent product while not having to worry about worker shortages. He claims robots aren't taking jobs but creating them as he's able to serve more customers with plans to open even more restaurants. It's creating more business for us, so we actually have to bring more people on. There you go. Ultimately, Moto Pizza's success will hinge on the quality of the product, and the proof is apparently in the pie. You have to pre-order Moto Pizza, and there's a two-month wait with a fifth location in the works for the east side. This pizza maker thinking outside the box. I think that we can still create artisan, craft-like pizza, utilizing technology in many ways. And the folks at Moto don't plan to stop there. They plan to deploy drones, have robotic street delivery drivers, and even robotic bartenders. In Seattle, Eric Wilkinson, King 5 News.